This is Prince Hanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you about removing the barriers. The word of the Lord today to you is remove the constrictions, expand your circles of influence, break the old barriers, expand your touch, use your faith. I will bring it to pass, saith the Lord. People need the breath of God, the touch of God, the anointing of God. You are the instrument of God to reach people. Even your prayers for every nation, tribe, tongue, and dialect of the earth to be emblazoned with the glory of God are tools of love and power through which the Holy Spirit works to reach people in time and space, sometimes years later in time, and continents away in space. I have known God to use cassettes, videos, literature, and media broadcasts broadcasts that were produced years before as instruments through which people were saved, healed, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and received miracles. Sometimes years later, God honors his word. He watches over it to perform it. Then the Lord said unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. I want to give you a personal prophecy. Your personal sphere of influence through ministry, through prayers, through giving is at the threshold of increase in quantum leaps depending upon what you do with this message I'm sharing with you today. So be it according to your faith. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand to the right and to the left. Isaiah 54 verse 2. Change your thinking, brothers and sisters. Think big, but new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved, it tells us in Luke chapter 5, verse 38. Think past the limits of your mind. Stretch out your horizon of endeavors and thoughts. Praying in tongues in the Holy Spirit will do this. It will help you to pray beyond the limitations of your mind. The scripture says these things began Jesus both to do and to teach. Base your thoughts, your goals, and your endeavors upon God's holy word. Use your faith. Number one, spend time meditating God's Word so you can learn His principles. Number two, spend time praying so you can talk to Him and hear from Him. And number three, spend time planning so you will know what to implement for Him. Number four, spend time believing so you will know what to receive from Him. Faith is wonderful, but it's even better when you have a plan to go along with your faith. If your plans fit into God's plans, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always will 
works. One time I took four of my oldest children on a hike. We had looked out our window for many months across a valley into the beautiful hills where we lived. I kept telling them that sometime we would hike up to the hills. One Saturday I surprised them and I said, today's the day we will hike into the hills. We packed a little lunch and set out upon our way. They were excited and I was too. As we reached the base of the hills, we came across something we have never seen from our window at home. It was a deep stream, which was an obstacle to our forward progress. I carried my children one by one over the ditch, and as we reached the top of the hills, we saw a view of splendor. It was a beautiful lake nestled in the top of the hills that we had never seen and did not know it was there. You will never experience the new, the unseen vistas in your life until you're willing to venture out. Leave the comfort zone behind. That is, if God's leading you to. Don't be afraid. Go into the promised land. If you reach obstacles, which you will, your Father in heaven will take you through, just like I took my children one by one over that ditch and that stream, up to the beautiful lake that we saw at the top. God will honor your faith. Just trust him. Don't give in and don't give up. If you don't quit, you'll win. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God, all things are possible. Remember to tell your friends about the Apostle Talk podcast. If you have comments or need help, email me at princehanley at gmail.com. This is Apostle Talk and this is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love.